Hello? Oh, good. Excellent. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here. I uh, walked through the floor and I saw the great energies from many entrepreneurs uh, starting their own company. That reminds me of uh, 20 years ago uh, when I uh, co-founded Marvell. And Marvell, we are about uh, 20 years old. Uh, we are top five fabulous semiconductor company in the world. As you can see that uh, today, technology is built uh, not just about hardware. Um, software is playing a, a major role in this. And we ship about over a billion units a year across many markets from mobile to PCs to printers to infrastructure and gaming machines and um, everywhere basically. And if you think about today, it's all about software in addition to the great hardware. And this is where today I would like to share some of uh, my experience with you guys and what I see moving forward, what's uh, important for of course, the smart lifestyle, the internet of things. Well, first of all, um, if you think about the, uh, you know, I first time I came, I remember to uh, Mobile World Congress, maybe close to about 10 years ago, when Marvell just started to enter the mobile market. And at that time, if you think about people talk about CPUs, the radios, the batteries, the screens, but now it's very different. I mean, if you think about what's going on, it's all about software, right? I mean, Apple of the world, Google the Android, and the openness of Android that empower many innovators around the world be able to, today, each of us carry very high performance, powerful computing machines. I call the machines, well, our mobile phone, two gigahertz. Who would imagine that each of us need such a powerful engine with us? But what, what are we gonna do with it, right? And I use the term, you know, hardware product is like a pizza. And pizza though is what I do, the semiconductor of the world. And toppings are different operating systems. I mean, the, the, uh, the tomato sauce, and topping us are the applications. So the topping is so crucial. Each of us can create your own toppings and make different type of pizzas. So, and look at the Android, what Google has done for the world. The openness of the Android that scale uh, in a big way to innovate and together with Apple, uh, 20 years ago, um, actually over 20 years ago, I started my career as a programmer. Um, I uh, did my computer science degree at the Uni University of California, Berkeley. And I remember um, old days, you know, programmers and uh, thinking about how to innovate, but there's not a rich uh, ecosystem like today. You have access to many of technology. Um, look at JavaScript is a great uh, uh, programming language. But at that time, um, you know, I was learning the Mesa language. I don't know if you guys know the uh, Xerox Park, the Star Workstation. Those are very revolutionary type of technology. I was very fortunate when I uh, graduated from university, I was able to work in a start of, uh, state-of-art technology, and that made a difference for my training as a programmer. And 
Of course, um, when we started our Marvel as a semiconductor company, and we were thinking, you know, how do we pick up the architecture, such as a CPU uh, instruction set that can help us as a semiconductor players to move forward to drive the semiconductor industry. Um, many of you guys know that many, you know, x86 is the big elephant of the world, and the little arm, uh, probably many of you guys or not, never heard of arm 20 years ago. But we, as a company, we had the vision and we understand how do we, as a semiconductor player, pick a instruction set such as the CPU technology that can scale throughout the times. Now, the reason I mentioned this is very important because what we're doing, picking the right programming language for Internet of Things, for mobile of the world, the smart lifestyle of applications is gonna be very crucial. So 20 years back, 15 years back, we select the ARM camp. But think about today, in the mobile world, ARM dominates. Right? So that's the architecture that everybody uses. And it's highly scalable because very low cost to manufacturing, very low power. So we as a company, and 20 years ago, the brand new entrepreneurs start from scratch for semiconductor design hardware, and we picked the right instruction set. Therefore, today, where leaders drive many industries, started with storage, then the wireless LAN, and networking, uh, cloud servers, across the board, right? And then now looking at IoT. Uh, example of, again, the arm is driving the ecosystem. But without the software, hardware doesn't walk very far, right? I'm sure you guys realize this. I realize it. Not only I'm a passionate programmer, I realize this. So in the last several years, we as a company, we in invest in a big way. And, and I'm very happy to say that today, we are able to use very simple, tiny Cortex-based arm and microcontroller type of hardware can build a smart surface for IoT in a big way. Now, of course, you need software. This is where our Kinoma, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, our Kinoma later this, as a software. And in fact, we're going to make it open as an open uh, platform so that many entrepreneurs, as some of you guys, can enable and working, uh, working at, in those ecosystem and be able to create your innovative applications and to empower the world. And the openness is very key. And this is where the pizza dough and mix with all the right toppings and the OS and all those is gonna be very important to empower the world of IoT. Now, um, we as Marvell, uh, we raised the bar for semiconductor design and hardware uh, last week, we introduced some very innovative technology. And how do you develop semiconductor platform with highly scalable? Why? Because in today's world, it's about make to fit, right? I use the pizza dough or pizza as an example. And you, it's no longer standalone or discrete anymore. It's about what application what features you try to develop for the end product. How many of you guys know the product called Chromecast? I'm sure many of you, okay. So this is, again, the ecosystem innovation that, uh, you know, actually I personally involved uh, with, uh, with my teams and Marvell together with Google and the rest of the ecosystem to build this little tiny dongles, right? It, it does wonders and very affordable, 35, US dollars. So this is a perfect example of how the technologies are moving forward, being built in the hardware world, together with the ecosystem, and together with how we build applications. 
So last week, um, our CEO uh, uh, spoke at uh, ISCC, the International Solid State Conference, with two innovation. One is how do you do modular chip solution, right? So highly scalable to minimize the hurdle of cost and depends on what features you try to enable. And uh, the other is, have you guys noticed for the mobile phone today, we have such a powerful CPU, right? And things are very, very powerful. We have a lot of applications we need to build on top of this platform. And what is what have you seen the bottlenecks? I saw two, at least the memory cost, right? More stuff to write, more software to build, and the main memory DRAM is called very costly. So how do we drive this technology to be very low cost and also very low power? So we Marvell and um, had a great innovation. So what do we do? Well, the DRAM cut to one tenth of the DRAM usage and leveraging the flash memory, which is much lower cost and much lower power. Right. Now, this is what you will see moving forward in the next couple of years. You will see us as innovators and technology leaders will really change the world. And this is what I encourage all the entrepreneurs. You know, one thing is about create a business. The other thing is how do you think about raise the bar, continue to innovate, thinking outside the box. So five years ago, I. Um, bought a company called Kinoma, and uh, um, it was the company that the founder, Peter Hardy, uh, is very, uh, I call the smart and brilliant software engineer, and he was the one that Apple uh, uh, developed uh, QuickTime, so for those of you familiar with this. And um, when I met him, I said, wow, we as a semiconductor company, I need a uh, bringing the software capability so that we as a company can make a difference to build platforms to help customers, help the industry. So five years later, um, so the, our Kinoma team developed a JavaScript engine called XS. Okay, um, this past Monday, we announced that we made it as an open platform. So it's our Kinoma JS uh, open platform. And so many of you guys, you can go have access to it. What's great about this is it, it allows you to build consumer products, okay? For this huge internet, things, internet of things, IoT market, and with very affordable, very low power hardware, okay? For wearables, power consumption is gonna be key, right? And cost is gonna be key. The form factor is going to be key. So we solved the all above issues. And this is why I'm very excited. I understand the audience, uh, 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 a lot of passionate uh, entrepreneurs. So you guys might want to check it out. And this is what we are driving, this openness uh, for the industry, for our customers, as well as for Marvell and uh, you know the overall to contribute to this big IoT market. I'm sure you guys know the IoT market very well. Today we live in the smart lifestyle and each of us I call the smart object, right? So many of, like my jacket here, very soon gonna be live contents, right? So we can empower for personality, for look and feel, and we can duplicate many me to be effective, uh, you know, more effective to uh, what we do every day's life. Um, and then, of course, these slides just give you a, a example of how big those markets are. Each of us will carry a few of these wearable smart devices and to get our job done more effectively. But at the end of the day, the more opportunity for entrepreneurs, the more innovators, uh, will be born is going to be leveraged by software. It's going to be leveraged by 
the collaboration. I, the, the previous speaker, uh, um, the professor was talking about, right, the sharing, right? A classroom, who wants to do homework if there's no exam? Who wants to uh, do better job if there's no competition with other classmates, right? So what well, no difference in the uh, software world. And when programmers, and they work by themselves. That's how you create, I use the term spaghetti codes. I mean, I remember that I used, you know. But if you have a friends and working together, collaborate, and if you're in the open source community and everybody has pride, right? Say, ah, I better write some real cool stuff, right? Everybody to share and to see who writes better code. So this is how uh, the innovation and empowerment happens. So we are very happy to, uh, uh, contribute uh, ourselves uh, with the, our Kinoma team with the, the great innovation and not only writing great code but also be able to make it into the real consumer product, the critical mass for the IoT. And this is an example of Marvel's JavaScript engine. And our team made this available, open source. Our uh, Kinoma JS. Uh, application framework, you, you guys might want to uh, d check online and uh, look into this. And essentially, with this platform, small microcontroller can do the wonders for IoT. Okay. And this is the uh, example of, uh, you can find the, uh, at the GitHub open source. I'm sure many of you guys are uh, familiar with this. And here are some example of uh, what we have used our technology into the smart TVs, the dongle of the world, 3D printers, uh, wearables, and many more to come. But my point is, I think many of you guys uh, uh, now have a lot of great ideas, but it's, it will be very helpful if you have a platform, you have a, a programming language that you can look forward to. I think uh, JavaScript uh, is going to be very important. I mean, the history of success of the internet, you see many of the big companies, the Google, the Apple, Microsoft, uh, Mozilla, you know, Yahoo, hackers, right? A lot of people build great software technologies for the web browsers and for the internet. So, the next piece is for consumer product. We believe our excess uh, JavaScript engine is going to be very helpful. Ah, this is, there we go. So this is just summarize the uh, just the overall and what we as Marvell uh, we have a very complete hardware solution, but. As I said, software is going to be very key. So with us, hardware and provide the open uh, platform for software, we hope we can contribute more to this high growth IoT industry. And ho hopefully we can empower new sets of entrepreneurs. And uh, it's, it's uh, such a great to be entrepreneurs, you know, through my own experience. And we, we want to all um, want to make a difference, but Today, the way to work together is to collaborate. It's about ecosystem. It's no longer just somebody sell their standard solution to their customer. It's about uh, all across the board, internet players, service providers, the OEM, the ODM, the software players, semiconductor uh, makers. Everybody need to work together to create the joint opportunities. And um, you know, we, the 20 years of hard work, and we are very passionate about what we have done for the world, and we'll continue to do our best. Um, just to summarize it, I mean, as a semiconductor player, we, of course, understand uh, selecting the CPU architecture, the instruction set is very important for us to develop the chip. But moving forward for the IoT world, uh, it's very important that uh, we pick the, la the right language. And I, uh, last year, I talked to some of the university professors. I think computer science uh, should be a, 
a course for all majors, right? Because it's no longer just should be engineering majors. So everybody should understand how to write very high level computing language because today, how we make application is going to be ourself or the person that are going to create the applications. Because we live in the small world of small of everything. So which means each of us has a lot of opportunities to create software, right? Have you guys noticed, I, you know, I live in the US, so I have, I found that Uber, for example, is so convenient, right? Used to, you have to reserve your drivers ahead of time, but now, you know, just with the Uber apps, a couple minutes away, and there you go. You have your just-in-time drivers anywhere you go. So it's about technology, but it's about how we use the technology and to impact for better life and smarter life every day for all of us. Thank you. Yeah, this has been uh, 